This is a society shunned in the new Libya, a diaspora spread far and wide. The Tawarga have been accused of committing war crimes against the people of Misrata. Murad Khamis says the accusations amount to collective punishment. This is injustice. Maybe a few dozen were involved in attacks against Misrata, but to say all Tawargas took part, how is that possible? Thousands of army soldiers were in our town. We couldn't say a word. We couldn't even leave. But 30,000 people did leave the town just before opposition fighters took control there in August 2011. During the war, Tawarga was used as a center of military operations against the city of Misrata. Regime forces were based here. But Misrata says it has evidence thousands of Tawarghans volunteered and fought alongside Gaddafi's forces. The Tawarga are also accused of human rights abuses, including rape. Kama. Many Tawagans took part in attacks and rape. We have evidence from prisoners who confessed, documents that were found, and they took footage on their mobile phones. It is hard to verify rape cases in conservative societies like this one. Some human rights groups have accused Misrata of imposing summary justice, but Misrata has reached its verdict and wants those responsible to be brought to the courts. Misrata blames all the people of Tawarga. They either carried out the crime, helped or knew about it and didn't do anything. Even women and children took part. They tortured those in captivity. Officials say they aren't preventing the Tawarga from returning, but at the same time they won't give guarantees for their safety. Misrata says it is seeking justice, not revenge. But this is a country where the rule of law still needs to take hold. Zenachudar Al-Jazeera, Libya.